Ready for medical career growth? Yes, you are in the right place. Hello, this is Dr. Neema Bish, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. As a founder of Career in Pharma, our mission is to guide medical professional towards remarkable success in the pharma industry. With a track record of over 700 plus students, trained and placed into various premier pharma companies, we are here to elevate your journey. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. Now today video again which is one of our Ask Us Anything series where we have started making videos on the comment which we get or making videos of the topic uh, which we get from our viewers, from our audience, followers through various social media. And in the same series, today we are going to talk about a very common question which we get from medical graduate, medicos, MBBS graduate. So let's start with this video and the topic for today's video is Joining pharma industry after MBBS or after MD or after MD pharmacology. This is the most common query we get where medicals they ask that whether I should go for MD, pharmacology or what are the advantage of uh, being an MD or MS over uh, just a MBBS. Yes. So in this, I'm going to talk about six points and through these points, I'm going to explain whether you should go for it or not. And if you have already done MD, MS or MD pharmacology, whatever it is, how you are going to have an advantage edge over just a MBB. Yes, so let's begin. Now, the first point is you can join pharmaceutical industry just after MBBS. Trust me. There is no need of going for additional MD or MS or anything else, right? Just after your MBBS, even before you start to go for clinical experience, then also you can join directly as soon as you finish your MBBS to pharmaceutical industry. Now, what is the advantage if you go after clinical experience? Now, what happens? Definitely, once you have completed your MBBS and once you are into the real ground where you are doing clinical practice, then definitely the way you will be making a medical judgment as compared to a person who just completed his or MBBS is going to vary a lot, right? So I want to say that a person who has clinical experience, company gives preference to those people uh, because medical judgment varies right but it's not that companies are not there who are hiding mbbs also there are companies who take fresh mbbs also without any clinical experience okay so it is always better if you have clinical experience but see if you are someone who don't have any inclination in clinical practice you don't have any interest to go for clinical practice and if you think that your mbbs is a waste then without doubt without asking to anyone you can join pharma industry just after your mbbs okay so no doubt on that one no need to waste time on other studies also if you don't have any inclination in towards straightforward after mbbs you can join pharma industry yes now people who have already done md ms whatever post graduation even if it's some diploma then definitely you are going to get an advantage over just MBBS in few companies. Means there are few companies like there are companies who hires just MBBS also. There are also companies who don't hire just MBBS. They will look for postgraduate. Either it MD or MS or whatever it is, they will look always for postgraduate medicals. Okay, so there you are going to get an advantage. Now, work-wise, the job role which you get at a fresher level is not going to make any difference. Means whatever work any MBBS will do for the same job profile that MDMS also going to do. Work-wise, job role-wise, there will be no difference. 
may be there will be difference in medical judgment after going through the report if you have clinical experience or if you have some super specialization with you, right this is point number 1 point number 2 as i already said if you have no inclination towards mbbs and now after finishing mbbs you think that you are at a dead end you are in a trap where you are thinking that why you did mbbs it's not for me i am not passionate i did mbbs because of my parents pressure because of peer pressure whatever is your reason if you are not interested in further pursuing clinical practice or you know pursuing this path then definitely pharma industry is the most uh, preferred thing for you to go for uh, because career opportunity is very good growth is very good so you can join immediately without wasting time you can join pharma industry after mbbs point number 3 the if you are someone who love to study who want to do further studies okay maybe not so that you can pursue in clinical maybe you have that interest that inclination towards the studies or if you get a government seat then definitely it is always better to go for a pg okay so if you are still in the mode of studies where you can study a lot you can crack the pg seat government seat then definitely you should go for md actually if you get md pharmacology are better than others means if you your aim is to make a career in pharma industry then definitely you should go for md pharmacology the seat you should look for is md pharmacology if you don't get md pharmacology you can go with other mds also that also have advantage but yeah always md pharmacology are in demand and are the first choice for pharma companies because if you are a md pharmacology you will get two three benefits at a fresher level first benefit is there are few companies who don't hire less than md pharmacology means even in md they have very specific requirement of md pharmacology so you are going to get an advantage over others for sure in those companies point number 2 if you are a md pharmacology you are salary at a special level is going to be more than just a mbbs okay for example if any mbbs is getting a package of uh, 9 lakh 10 lakh of ctc then being a md pharmacology very easily you will be able to get more than 12 lakh of ctc and even uh, i have heard i have seen there are few companies who are giving 20 25 lakh of ctc also to md pharmacology i mean especially if the budget is good with company and there are companies who give 20 lakh of package ctc also to md pharmacology at a fresher level so that advantage if you are a md pharmacology right and see if you can afford private college then also you can go for md pharmacology okay but if you can't afford then no need to waste money you can directly come to pharma industry also after your mbbs yes point number 4 what is the advantage of joining as a mbbs okay see that is very different thing that uh, you don't have any option then uh, you are joining the pharma industry after mbbs that is completely different thing but what are the advantage of joining after mbbs see first of all you will save your time okay which you will uh, you know put into uh, pg preparation or finishing your pg right because in the same time like by after 2 years or 3 years whatever time the your post graduation is going to take in that time you can get a job you can get a industry experience because as p whatever degree you get pg uh, versus the industry experience which you are going to get immediately after your mbbs is holding more importance so let's say if you are getting the ctc of 12 lakh after doing pg versus a uh, mbbs who is getting 9 or 10 like 10 lakh of ctc after mbbs both will be in a equal ctc once a uh, person a after mbbs and then two years of job that person going to get more than 12 13 even 14 15 lakh versus a person who went for pg and then that person is getting 12 or 13 lakh okay so ctc wise it will be more or less when you join immediately after mbbs or you join after md okay but the person who completed mbbs and joined pharma immediately 
holding the industry experience and that is going to add a lot of value to their profile this is an advantage if you join this industry immediately after mbbs without wasting your time okay and on top of this let me tell you there is no end to studies no end to learning so always better to go for some degree which can be in align with your job role your job responsibilities means literally this md ms whatever you are going to do except md pharmacology and other medicine area not always your pg um, pg knowledge whatever you learned let's say in M you have done some ms that not be in use as compared to if you go for some mba programs so what you can do you can join the industry after mbbs you can earn a good amount of money you can uh, earn a good experience and parallelly you can go for some mbas nowadays i am uh, there are many iims they have many executive programs for mb you can go for that you will get a tag of i am also that is going going to add a lot of value and this mba will be in align with the job roles and responsibilities you will be doing at an experience level inside the pharma industry okay so that is more suitable to go for fifth point is like i already mentioned advantage of joining after md especially if you are a md pharmacology i already mentioned your salary may be more you will have an edge over others in the companies who just hire md pharmacology yes and for sure you will be stepping the corporate ladder fast as compared to other but there is a catch not just qualification will help you in stepping this corporate ladder in corporate to have the opportunities to have the growth apart from qualification many other extra curricular activities and your skills plays a very crucial role for example one thing i want to tell you let's say there is a person a with mbbs but having a very extra uh, you know smart communication versus a person b who is mbbs even md pharmacology but not so vocal not so good at communication then definitely the person who has just done mbbs is growing to you know grow this ladder corporate ladder fast as compared to md pharmacology because inside corporate in this pharma industry overall everywhere in corporate communication holds a very crucial role communication is the key to go is the key for many changes trust me if you are not vocal if you are not able to communicate your things if you are not uh, able to communicate the things you want to convey to the listener then it's not going to make any change so it is very important communication skill is very important very 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 important so not just degree will help you but yeah that is one of the factors and our point number 6 that is the last point in this is now many you know doctors they ask us that i am md dermatology i am i am md in internal medicine apart from md pharmacology if you are md then definitely again i am saying there are few com companies who don't hire less than md the pharmacology other mds also so definitely you are going to get an advantage over just a mbbs over there and also let's say if you have some clinical experience some experience into your bucket which is in alignment with the company requirement or the company's project requirement for example if you have some experience into chemotherapy oncology trials in your clinical experience then definitely that holds a uh, big advantage and that is a very valuable experience with you uh, that company always prefer and look for similarly let's say if you are going to give interview for any company who are into dermatology products then if you are md dermatology without doubt you are going to get advantage over others and company will going to give you preference similarly if you are you know let's say into ophthalmology so we have companies who are into ophthalmology uh, uh, eye solutions so you know related to eyes into disease eye diseases there you are going to get an advantage over others for sure so company going to give you preference so like this depending on your uh, post graduation your clinical experience expertise 
it is always going to vary it's not that uh, you know 1 plus 1 equals to 2 no it all depends on the company where you are going to apply your experience your expertise your communication your extra curricular things so it going to matter a lot these many i mean not a single point is there there are many points but going to matter a lot so in short i would say in short if i have to summarize see if you are doing md or ms just for the sake that i will get some better thing in pharma and eventually you want to join pharma then no need to go okay no need to go for pg directly you join this industry pharma industry later on you can go for mbas that would be more appropriate but if you are some someone who really love to study who really want to go for pg further who really want to give preference to studies first then definitely you can go for pg also yes so i hope you got a clear cut idea on whether you should go for pg or not and if you are already a post graduate what are the advantage so that is all about this video of joining my industry after md or ms or just after mbbs also you can join yes so i hope you got a clear cut idea on how you should proceed further and if you really like this content and and if you really like what i have i have explained in this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to share this channel to your colleagues your friends who are looking for opportunities inside pharmaceutical industry after mbbs any of your friend who is at a dead end dead end after mbbs and is clueless what to do next after mbbs any of your friend who is really frustrated fed up of clinical system and the health system which we have in india so you can forward this video to them as well yes and don't forget to hit a like button if you really like this content yes so this is all about this video this topic will be coming soon with some fresh next video till the time i come again till that time please stay safe aware healthy updated and keep exploring new things have a nice day